Hello, so today I will show you how to add and delete items in Bitbucket. Since Bitbucket is really hard to add and delete files, so I will show you how to add and delete files. Go to your Bitbucket and press clone and then press clone in VS Code. Then VS Code sends a message and press open and press enter. Then put wherever you want your repository to be. Then again, you wait while the computer clones the repository. Then there's this login thing. You need the password to in order to access your your repository, so you can change it. You can get the password by following the things that I do in this video. Go to Big Bucket, find that three dots, then press personal setting. Press up passwords. This will make you a password. It will enable you to edit your repositories. Then press up passwords. Just check all the boxes and put anything that you want in the label. Then press create. Then this is your new password. Be sure that you save this password in your in a notepad or somewhere you can remember the password. You can go back to this code and copy and paste the password. After that, you wait. Press open. So I will add some items in this repository. So I added a folder named test folder. Let's see if we can add the test folder in our Bitbucket repository. Press Control Shift Backtick and it will lead you to the terminal. And then in the terminal type git init. Next type git add minus a capital A. You can first type git status to see whatever that you had add using the command git add a. Then type git remote set url origin then your link in your bitbucket. Next type git commit minus am then whatever message you want to say. Then for the final git, git push minus u origin master. If this message is what you saw, then you are done. I will try to delete the weird me md in Bitbucket. First, delete the readme md in VS Code. Press Ctrl Shift Backtick to go to the terminal. Type git in it. Git add space and a dot. Then git commit minus am and another message. Then git push minus u origin master. Then press enter. So there's another error. So so type git remote set minus url origin then your link. Then you can try to git push again. Git push minus your origin master. Reload on your website and the readme md is gone. If you found this video informative, please consider subscribing and liking the video so it can help me a lot. Thank you and have a good day.